Dan Fitzpatrick here, StockMarketMentor.com. And I want to come back to um, SailPoint Technologies. Look, I covered this stock uh, yesterday, um, ironically, before the close, um, because I had a, well, too much information. I had a doctor's appointment I had to go to. So I liked the way this stock was breaking out. I've been tracking this with the trend line across, just kind of generally across these intraday highs. And my idea was, okay, there's been enough time that's gone by after this little pullback um, that if the stock broke out in this kind of market and in this sector, kind of had a chance of continuing to move higher. So um, on this day, when the stock broke out above this trend line, set your alerts. They will make you money. Um, uh, my alert went off and I was at my desk and so I bought some stock. And then the stock ran up um, like really nicely um, after hours because what happened was S&P um, added uh, sale point to the S&P 400, which I believe is a mid cap index. And so that means all the index funds, which are of course way too expensive, uh, go ahead and own a, buy a mutual fund. Uh, <laughs> I'll digress, but that's okay, it's my video. Um, go ahead and you know buy a mutual fund that tracks the S&P or tracks the, uh, the mid caps. You could do that and you pay them a nice one, one and a half percent management fee, whatever they're charging, or you could just buy SPY and not have to fart around with it or MDY and just do that, you know, but you know, hey, you got to keep Vanguard in business. So whatever floats your boat. Um, but so let me get back to this. Okay, I'm back on track. So the stock gaps up this morning. Several people in our forum at Stock Market Mentor had a position in this. They all, a lot of them just kind of bought when I did, you know, where the stock was under discussion. And so then the stock pops. And my initial instinct when it does something like this is sell half. I mean, that's something that I learned from, uh, from Mark Minervini, just kind of as almost as a rule that when you have a stock that just really jumps up 10, 15%, take half off the table, maybe take all of it, but take half off the table anyway, just to block in a gain, you know, you've still got some stock in case the stock moves more, but you know, so you're not risking selling everything too soon, but you are selling some. So I waited on that and wound up, you know, the stock runs up, uh, goes up above, above 45 bucks, ultimately gets up to 46. And then I set a stop, um, you know, once it got to 46 and it was pulling around, I kind of set a stop somewhere, somewhere around here. You know, I didn't, I think that's actually what it was, was I was looking at, um, this is just kind of day trading stuff, at least the way I did. Um, I, I was looking at, at the way the stock pulled back here. And I thought, okay, if it doesn't rebound and instead keeps going, I mean, it's up so extended that it's it's pretty easy. Um, it's pretty easy to envision the stock just doing that. We've seen that a lot, you know, a stock gaps up and then, and then falls down. So I wanted to protect it and I put a stop right underneath here. And then the stock rallied up a little bit. I watched it for a moment and thought, okay, well, you know, maybe, maybe I'm not gonna get stopped out. And then, um, you know, a little bit later I did, okay? Five, 10, 15 minutes later, I got stopped out of half the position. And then at some point during the rest of the day, I did just, tra I just traded out of the rest of the position because my, my, frankly, my feeling was, hey, if the stock's not just continuing to go up, then this is now kind of hard money. This is money that I have to be, you know, I have to really be monitoring it. And yeah, I can set a, a stop and then trail a stop or something, but come on, we're trying to make money here. We're not trying to be right or to put it another way. I'm not trying to top tick this trade like, oh my gosh, I got a good one. I really got lucky. Now, let me see if I can get even more lucky and sell this thing right at the top. Then, I don't know, maybe I can get a custom license plate and drive it around California and it says top ticker. You know, I don't know. Just when you got a stock like this and you got a really good profit in it, you know, don't kick the bull in the butt because that thing might just turn around and hook you. And that's not a good place to be, okay? It's not, not a good place to be behind the bull for other reasons. 
But it's not a good place to be staring that bull with the horns coming down on you either, okay? So you take your money. You don't have to take it all at one time, but you need to have an exit strategy that you can execute just as you do a buying strategy. And I've just shown you how I did it on sale point. Now, I'm just moving on to the next whiskey bar. Okay, that's it. By the way, if you're not a member of Stock Market Mentor, I'm just telling you, we have people in our trading room every day that are really kicking out some good trades. You know, I'm in there. Uh, Scott uh, McGregor's in there. Uh, Bridget's in there on the option side. So we got a lot of stuff going on in there. And it's all about making money, okay? It's not making friends. Okay, I don't want to be your friend. I want to be your money maker. But if you think I'm your friend, that's great. But one thing I know for sure, if I'm not making you any money, you're not going to want me as a friend. So I get it. I get where the loyalty is. Okay, you're fickle. Fine. I can deal with it.